Hello everyone. I would like to explain um, my pills called needle tubes or uh, stoppers as a tube or as an attachment uh, on the bracket when you have a deep bite. So as you know, when you have a deep bite, it will be very difficult to put a molar tubes um, and this because the occlusion will result in um, debonding of the molar tube. And this is the same when you have uh, a deep bite and you want to put some attachments on the anterior teeth. So, um, as you know, we have a lot of disposable uh, needle in dental practices and the black one were called uh, 20G. Uh, it has a lumen of uh, uh, 0 0.022 inch and the 22 gauge has a lumen of 16 and the 25 has a lumen of 10. I would recommend using the black one only. So what you will do, you bring um, a, a round wire, uh, 20, uh, 0.20 stainless steel round wire, you insert it in the uh, needle uh, of 20G, uh, then you put an ethyl chloride, spray an ethyl chloride inside the syringe, inside the needle, head and the reason why I'm using ethyl chloride because it will make the steel hard and when you cut it with um, a cutter uh, the lumen or the needle tip will not be squeezed and also uh, the round stainless steel will prevent squeezing of the end so at the end you will get uh, a small um, a, you know well well formed uh, tip uh, of 22 size or at least 20. Then after that you transfer it and you place it on the tooth, uh, let's say that it is uh, lower 7 and then you put a flowable composite around it to secure it in a place and then it will be easy for you to place uh, your uh, wire. Remember that, that the maximum size wire that you can use in this case will be 1622 or, or around wire and then at later stage when you have enough enough clearance between the upper and lower then you can remove it and uh, replace it with a proper tube uh, I'm going to show you an example and this is an example of the case and um, uh, it's actually from one of uh, my colleague uh, and I'm going to show you a case which I treated uh, the patient has uh, some uh, crowding in the lower arch and the uh, canine are lingually standing. And the patient has really significant deep bite, as you can see uh, in the coming uh, photos. So I etched the surface, then I isolated the tooth, I placed a, a, a bonding, non-filled resin, and then I placed a flowable composite, then I placed um, uh, the uh, modified tube, then I secure it in a place and then I add additional uh, flowable composite at the top of it uh, and cure it. After that I play, uh, put a main arch wire which is whatever you like, whether it is 1925, 1625 stainless steel or even a round wire. In this case I use actually 1622. Uh, stainless steel coated arch wire and the piggyback wire was 012 uh, nickel titanium. I place it there and I secure it to the place. So it's act as uh, an attachment on the canine, very low profile attachments. Uh, so um, uh, it will not be displaced by uh, the occlusion because as you can see here, uh, we have very deep bite. And if I put any brackets, it will be difficult and the tooth, uh, the bracket might be uh, detached. There are many other uh, alternatives. You can put a button on the lingual surface and long uh, run a slingshot pouch elastic. You can put anything, but this is one of the techniques that um, um, I consider it as one of my apparel. Uh, that's it. Thank you so much. Thank <laughs> you.